Hello so guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can fix your freezing or crashing games on Xbox. Also guys, if you have problems during this video, you can just go ahead and join other fix and we'll help you. So, once you are like playing a game, for example Apex or all the other games, it doesn't really matter which game. So let's go to a game. So, if you are not able to play for example Apex and it keeps crashing you can't do nothing what you want to do is you want to keep holding the part I mean the home button and once you do that you will see the screen right here but if you see nothing what you want to do is you want to go to your console itself and you want to keep holding the power button on your console and that will help too so what you want to do is you want to restart console and once you do that you will be back and what if the problem keeps happening like if you already did that and the problem just keeps happening what you also can do is you can go to settings or settings go to general on here go to network settings now guys you want to go to advanced settings by the way guys if you please can like and subscribe thank you so much so on advanced settings what you want to do is you want to go to alternate mac address and on here just click on clear and now you want to click on restart but i can't do it for right now because i'm recording a video so let's go to the next step what you also can do so let's go all the way back and now go to devices and streaming so guys once you're in here you want to click on blu-ray but for some people it won't actually show up the blu-ray and the disc so i'm gonna show you another method later just click on blu-ray for the people that have this option now what you want to go is you want to go to persistent storage just click on that now once you are in here it will tell you it will just clear the cache and that's just it you don't need to worry about it guys it's safe to do and you won't losing like safe data or anything like that so it's all safe so guys this is the dirt method how you can do it this is for the people that don't get that option to clear their cache on the blu-ray or just don't have blu-ray on their systems so what you want to do is you want to keep holding the power button till you see no more lights coming out and now once you did that you want to go to the back of your xbox so once we are on the back of our xbox what we want to do is we want to unplug everything on it so especially the power cord itself and also you want to turn off that big power cord over there you can just press on the button or you can just unplug it if you want to so once you do that you want to wait about like two minutes or five minutes it depends on you but i think a minimum of just two minutes is enough so you just gotta wait about two minutes and that's it. Now, what you want to do is you want to turn on the console back again. And what we should see is, let's see. We should see a green screen. And by the way guys, if you please can like and subscribe, thank you so much. So if you see, if you see this, you know that you did it correctly and that's so what if all of these methods didn't work out for you what you can also try is you want to press on the home button on the home button you want to go to my games and apps click on see all now if you have a problem on Apex or for example Minecraft, what you need to do is you want to go to the game itself and on the game itself you want to, you want to press on start or the options button and now you want to go to manage and game add-ons. And this will tell you a lot of things like your updates save data and all of that it could happen that your save data actually got corrupted so if your save data got corrupted what you want to do is you want to delete that and how do you know 
that it's corrupted you know that by maybe like starting your Minecraft server, that one server and it doesn't load up or it keeps crashing, that means that that one is crashed. So what you want to do is you want to delete the latest file. Don't delete all of it, but if you have a lot of corrupted files, you want to just delete it all because you won't be able to play your Minecraft servers again. And this is for all the other games too. Now, what you also can do is the next method, going to manage. On manage, you want to go to manage storage. Now, what if you are using a external storage? What you want to do is you want to click on A. Once you do that, you will be able to transfer your data to your internal. So you can also just do that if you want to, but I don't have any uh, game data or anything like that. So I can't do that right now, but you just press on this and then wait, I just uh, clicked on B for mistake and you want to click on move selected. And now you will be able to um, remove it from your external to your internal you can also do the exact same on the internal and remove it to your external so this can fix your problem too actually now let's go to these options right here clear local safe games or clear local um, xbox 360 storage you can also do that but you will lose a lot a lot of data from your xbox or your games itself so i don't really suggest you guys to do it use this as like a, a last option now let's go to make more store space and what are left add-ons so these are like dlc packs save data or anything other like teams that you already deleted the game so once you delete a game it will still have some dlc packs updates or some save data left over and you can also delete them so it could happen that these are the problems i don't have anything on my screen right now because i already deleted them because they can cause a lot of crashes freezing and that type of stuff and it just fills my storage so much up <coughs> Now, let's go to shrinkable games. This is just a extra. What you can do is, if you have a lot of storage, you can choose like a game and you can shrink it. For example, if GTA is like 85 gigs, you can get it down to only 60 gigs. This is just a extra. Now guys, if you tried all of these methods and it still doesn't work out for you, there are some last options what you also can use. So one of the last options is deleting your game itself. So how do you delete your game? You just press on the start of the game. Then you go to manage game and add-ons. On here, go to installed, click on options. And now just click on uninstall. So once you uninstalled the game, you want to go ahead and download it back on. And another last option what you also can use is go to settings. On here you want to go to system and console info. Go to reset console. And on here it will tell you are you sure you want to reset your console and you can do two options reset and remove everything or reset and keep my games and apps so if you tried all of these methods out and it still doesn't work out you want to do reset and remove everything what will happen is it will delete all of your saved data all of your clips all of your games and things like that your background will be default everything will be default your settings too so we only use this as a last option and if you want to do this and there is some like one or two safe data that you want to keep what you need to do is you want to get a extended storage or usb and i will leave some links in the description down below you can check it out and you want to use them so you can download the safe data into that usb drive or your extended storage and then click on reset and remove everything so once you do that 99 percent of the times this problem will be fixed and 
this is the video guys thanks for watching guys and like i said you can also join other fix if you still need more help if you uh, can't fix this problem also please like subscribe and comment down below which method is the best for you goodbye